previously on Somnia. Okay, it's raining. Please just get me out of here. Dad, where were you? I don't know if you're gonna believe me. Tell me the whole story. I am trying to find out my birth parent. Do you remember anything about them? I have always had bad memories. Charlie, people with bad memories still have some memories. Poolin, I... I'm sorry. Okay, God. I have to go. I miss Mikey so much. There's no next cycle. Well, what do you mean? Michael, he's just, he's just missing? Do you ever uh, find them, perhaps? Nobody looks for missing souls unless the council mandates it. supposed to find him. I think if we knew we wouldn't be sitting here having this conversation. Okay, so what? Do we just go post missing kid signs all over the place? I, I mean, I don't know. The other world is more vast than I think you're realizing, Lily. It's not just Calum City and the Key Herbs. There are people all over the place, even if they're concentrated in this area. Yeah, you know, gives lots of places to hide. Why would Mikey try to hide from us? I don't know. Maybe he disappeared out of thin air unbeknownst to him. And then there's the whole deal with Victoria's sister. That doesn't have anything to do with anything. There are 200 missing Somniacs. There's bound to be some coincidences. What are the chances that both you and Victoria are dealing with something like this and your paths crossed? Does Victoria even know? Didn't Victoria only have her first proper visit a few days ago? There's no way she knows. I mean, the two of us watched Michael disappear, and we had no idea he was missing until we investigated. Look, there's probably not a connection between Victoria's sister and Michael. It's just strange, is all, that they've both gone missing. We'll talk to her the next time she visits, but that doesn't help solve the problem of us needing to find Mikey. I mean, where could we start? Nobody's gonna be able to give us any leads. There's no witnesses to this. They just disappeared. We'll talk to people. We'll find the rest of the missing souls, and we'll see if there are any connections between any of them, and we'll see if anyone else knows about this. Well, the two we know about both died when they were preteens, so they weren't quite as unaware as children, but they weren't quite as aware as we are. That could be coincidental, but some of them might be evading reset. Yeah, that makes sense. The Somniac Resource Offices aren't going to help us any further. There's only one way to do this, and it's to do it by hand. We gotta talk to every Somniac and every former Somniac we can find. So, when do you think you're coming back? I don't know. Within the next couple of days. Lane's recovering, but uh, Roland needs to cool down, even though he won't be admitted to the hospital, which is back to our hospital, right, if he needs some sort of treatment. That's probably what I'll do. It's hard because he's still a minor, but the police officer back in Montreal gave me something that lets me serve in local parentis. Due to them, you know, severing his ties with his parents, he needs to find a psychiatrist he can stay with for the considerable future. Vince? Yes? I don't know. Just, why are you doing this? Taking in these kids, helping them, no regard for money or no malice or reason. Is it because you're guilty? Or? It's not because of Baz. And why? Why go to all this effort for total strangers? Roland isn't a total stranger. I grew up with his parents. And besides, we clearly have different views of being a somniac. We aren't untouchable. We may have been chosen as the messengers of the council, and one of us may indeed be the reincarnation of Jesus, but. That doesn't mean we're above any other person. But they're all Somniacs too. Somnia is hell. You grew up in a family that accepted Somnia. I didn't. My sister spiraled down because of her Somnia and I didn't. I got lucky. Baz spiraled down because of his Somnia. Elsie hasn't yet. And every day that passes that she's still perfectly healthy is another lucky day and I fear for the moment that changes. And I fear for Ariel once she starts visiting. I don't want them to just have to get lucky. These Somniac kids deserve a support system, Morgan. They need help, and I want to give it to them. I'm sorry, that's hard for you to understand. <sighs> I don't want to let this stupid condition come between us again. There is nothing keeping us together, Morgan. Especially considering how we haven't been together for the last five years. I will sign the divorce forms as soon as I get home, if that's what you want. 
I let you stay in my home. I opened my doors to you because I want you to regain a relationship with my girls. Our. My girls. Let me know if you want to take it seriously. Vincent. I. Yeah. I can't remember. Your condition is very stable, considering the condition you were in just a few hours ago. I'm thinking you can be released within the next couple of days. That's wonderful. Oh, yeah. Um, thank you for everything. All of your help. That's my job. I'll be back in a couple of hours to check in. It felt so real. It always feels real when I visit. I talked to Lily and Bass. They were there with me, a lot of it. But I know I talked to you and Elsie too. It's just, it was all at once. Lane, I believe you. You, you believe me? Yeah. I believe that you weren't really here. I believe that you were in the other whatever it's called. Really? Yeah. I'm sorry I didn't believe you before. I should have. I... I, I didn't do this because of the somnia, Dad. I... I did it because everything just got so overwhelming and I just thought maybe if I could stop existing for however long they'd let me, maybe I could breathe again, but... But I was existing twice as much. Wayne. Do you want to go back to San Diego? I know this past year has been tough for you, but I shouldn't have uprooted you so suddenly. You would move all the way back there for me? I can't move back. Then why would you ask? Vincent, he asked if he could bring you with them when they go back to San Diego. You'd live with them, and you could finish high school with Elsie and your friends. I thought it was an idea worth asking about. You're kidding. You would never... You're serious. Oh my god. They can help you through this better than I can. This vision thing of yours, it's difficult for you to get used to, I know. But I know nothing about it. Your mother and my brother, they never talked to me about it. I had no idea. I don't know if I can leave you and Jay. You come back over long weekends. Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter. You can fly back here anytime you want, and I'll come to you too. You can finish high school at the place you've been at, and you and Elsie can graduate together. I have to think about it. You'll have a few days to think it over. Thank you. I, I can't believe you're even suggesting this. Honestly, I think it would be good for you. I think so too. But I, I still have to think it through. Of course. You don't have to make a decision yet. Vincent and Elsie will stay here until you're released from the hospital. Well, now that you're awake, I might as well give you the book I brought. <laughs> Tale of Two Cities. Never heard of that one. <laughs> oh, I know you usually read newer stuff, but you gotta read some classics every now and then. Maybe it'll help you relax a bit. Yeah. Thank you, Dad. Well, I'll leave you alone. I'm sure I've bothered you enough. But, Lane... Victoria's really worried about you. What? what? Why do you bring her up? I just wanted to make sure you knew. You're not, uh, trying to set us up or anything. You are. Oh my god. I am being supportive. Of course you are. I'll leave you alone. I love you, Trill. Thanks. Love you too, Dad.
know, I don't know what I would call her, technically. Uh, I see, I, um, I'm gonna... We're not divorced, um, neither of us will sign the papers once it comes down to it, but we haven't been together for five years. Neat, um, I'll just... Elsie, I'm um, glad you're back here. Um, Victoria came in. Roland's asleep. Um, that, was, that was Morgan, wasn't it? You were saying that I'm lucky to be healthy? Elk. Oh, Who are you two are having a moment? I'll just... Have you realized you're the second person today to tell me that? That I should be sitting here waiting for some illness to strip me down? Yeah. Roland said that, now you. I thought maybe, you know, he was falling into something, but apparently not. Every somniac deals with something. It can be tiny as nausea as gigantic as cancer. It could be anxiety or depression, or it could be schizophrenia. Not many earthen bodies can withstand visiting without some sort of reaction. Your chances would have to be pretty lucky for that. I'm sorry that I used your health as justification. That's only because I fear for you, and I fear for Ariel, because I know it could happen, and I know it has in my family. I hate all of this. Just leave me alone. He fell asleep. Be grateful for that. I am. Elk. Yeah? You have to realize that behavior like this is normal for people with schizophrenia. He's learning how to cope with it, and hopefully we can get him proper treatment once we're back in San Diego. The doctor told me he wasn't facing any immediate danger. He won't have to be admitted. We'll clear out of here once he wakes up. Right. Would you... can I just be alone with him? Of course. Text me if you need anything. Oh. Coincidence. Oh, that it is. Did you happen to mention my proposition? I did. I talked to her. She said she has to think about it. That's fine. She has time to think about it. Yeah. Vince, I think she wants to go, but she's just trying to be nice. I think she needs it. Yeah. You're okay with this too, right? I trust you. And she needs it. I have to be okay with it. you want to find something to blame. If you want to blame anything, blame my depression, but please, Jake, don't blame yourself. Has, has Dad talked to you about the possibility that I would move to San Diego for the school year? You're leaving? I don't know yet. I'm trying to decide. That's why I'm asking you to see if you're okay with it. I know it's hard for you to understand my thing, and I I just need someone to understand, and I fell so low because I felt like nobody understood me. I want to understand, and so does Dad. I know, but you don't, and you won't, and there's no way I can get you to. Elsie and Roland and Victoria do, and Dad doesn't, and Vincent does. 
It's impossible, Jake, for you to know the weight that I carry and will have to carry for the rest of my life and my eternity. I can talk to the dead. It's changed me fundamentally, and, and that's not your fault. And if you're okay with it, I think I have to go with them. And you should go. Well, on another subject is, um, is Victoria still here? What? Yeah, I think everyone's still here. Why? Uh, no, nothing. <laughs> you want me to leave and go get her. <laughs> that, that'd be really nice of you. <laughs> Jake. Thank you. If I leave, I'm gonna end up going out and sitting there anyway, so... No, I, I mean for coming in here and for wanting to come in before and for standing up for me this entire time. You're a good little brother. Really, Lane, it's... it's no problem. I found it. Hey, that's you. That's me. Does it have your birth parents' names? Yeah. Now all that's left to do is find them. You did it. Record time, probably. You gotta update me when you actually meet up with them, huh? Oh, um, I thought maybe you would come. <laughs> I, it would, it, when did I agree to that? It is, uh, how do you say, like a detective movie. <laughs> come on, Sherlock. Let's go find your parents. Sherlock? You know, Sherlock and Watson, you clearly don't know. Never mind. Let's figure this out. <laughs>